Let's take a look at setting up an OPC server using CX server from Omron. We'll use this to communicate to our PLC simulator. Head over to the Omron website, create yourself a free account and proceed to download CX server OPC if it has not been included with any other previous software packages. The download is only 219 megabytes and quick to install. Let's open up CX programmer and create a new project and select our PLC. You can use any CPU that allows controller link as this will be our interface from the simulator to the OPC server. Let's set the node address, use any value for now and make sure it matches in the CX server settings which we'll get to soon. For this example I'll only be making a simple start, stop and system running latch. Start being set at input 0.0, .0 stop set at address 0.1 and as a temporary I'll set my system running bit to 1.0. Head over to CX server located at the bottom in the Windows system tray. Right click CX server and select CX server project. Let's create a new project, I'll name mine FIO and select Edit Project. First let's set up the CPU, enter the same CPU type and that known number we chose in the CX Programmer project. Head into the points folder and let's create a new group. I'll be naming this FIO underscore tags. This group name will be used later in Factory IO to sort and import these tags we'll be creating. Select the target PLC and enter the data locations and for the internal data type we'll select bid. Once all the data points are added, head to File and close the window. The server should now be active and waiting for clients. Let's head over to Factory IO and we'll need to create a simple scene to get some tags to configure the OPC drive. Standard panel with the Start and Stop button, keeping in mind that the Stop button is normally closed. Let's get these components attached and labeled. Once we're in the driver configurator, scroll down to the OPC client DAUA. Browse for servers and select the Omron server. We'll then import the points we created earlier, into the group name and let's filter those tags. After filtering is completed, we can view if all our tags were imported successfully. An important shortcut for CX Programmer is Control shift w Start your CX Programmer simulator and start your simulator on Factory IO. If everything was configured correctly, communication should now be up and running.